Hello friends, welcome to C Programming Tutorials. In this class, we are going to learn about string input output functions. How we can read the string from the keyboard, how you are going to print string onto the monitor. So these three are the input functions, these three are the output functions. The first input function is scanf, second one is gets, so third one is f gets. Coming to output functions, printf puts f puts. So first we are going to see scanf and printf to read the string from the keyboard and to print the string onto monitor. Here, so the name of 15, that means the so name is a character array. Now, we are going to use this name as a string. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Index is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So printf enter a string. So this message is displayed on monitor. Scanf. In this scanf you are going to use the control string percentage yes. For character you are going to use percentage c. For integer you are going to use percentage d. For float you are going to use percentage f. Similarly, if you want to read a string from the keyboard, then you are going to use percentage s as a control string. So after that you give the variable name. Now for example, I entered call is. Call is. Now, so this call is stored in this array name. C, O, L, L, E, G, E, slash 0. So that is a delimiter. So now, so printf string equals to, it prints this message and the percentage control string goes to, belongs to name. So it displays C, O, L, L, E, G, E as output. Okay. So this is the scanf you are going to use to read string from the keyboard and this printf you are going to use to print a string onto monitor. Here you are going to remember one important thing. Here, when you read any string from the keyboard, you are going to use percentage %s as a control string. Similarly, if you print a string, then also you are going to use percentage %s as a control string. If it is a character, we are using control c If it is a string, you are going to use percentage %s. Now, if I give input like this, c r r call s, c r r call s, c r r space Call this. Now what happened? Now scan of percentage yes. I give CRR space call this. Then it stores like this. C R R and the space is encountered, so it is terminated and it is stores slash here. That means the scanner function we are going to use to read the input from the keyboard until you enter a new space or new line or if you reach the end of the file. So how we can overcome this problem means so by using gets and f gets. So next function is gets function. Gets function is also used to read the string from the keyboard until it reaches the new line or end of the file. Same program. So printf enter a string. This message is displayed on monitor. So gets name. Here I give crr space call is now it stores like this crr space also stored then c o l l e g e and slash zero that means so gets function we are going to use to read the input from the keyboard until it reaches a new line or end of a file the next function is f gets function Instead of gets, I am using f gets. So what is the difference between gets and f gets? So gets function we are going to use read the input from keyboard only. Read the input from keyboard only. But coming to f gets, you are going to use to read the data from standard input that is keyboard or we are going to use this f gets to read the input from files also. To read 
the input from files. How? So you have to you are going to specify the name after that size of the variable, size of name and so what is the source? Standard input. So, so you are going to use std here. Okay. So now we get the same output. If we enter CRR college, it stores like this and it prints string equals to CRR college. So what is the difference between gets and fgets? So gets is used to read the input from standard input device keyboard only. If you are using the fgets, now you are going to read the input from standard input and from the files also. So now we are going to see puts function. Instead of printf, you are going to use puts the variable name. So puts name, that's it. Now it prints CRR calls. Instead of puts, if you are using the F puts, so F puts is used to write the output onto files. So puts by default send the output to the monitor. Coming to F puts by using this F puts function, you are going to send the output to the files also. We see exact output of these functions in practical session. I hope you all are understand string input output functions. So now we are going to see scan a function to read input from keyboard. GCC program 35.c dot slash a dot out. Enter a string, I enter college. It displays college. We execute one more time. CRR college. Now it stores only CRR. Why? The scanf function is used to read the input until it reaches space or new line or end of the file. Here the space is encountered. So CRR is stored in this variable name. So this is the gets function. We execute this program. BCC program 36.c. We get the warning. No problem. Dot slash a dot out. Enter a string. Enter CRR college. Now it reads the entire string. Why? The gets is a function which is used to read until a new line encounter. So this is the program for f gets. In f gets you can specify the variable name and the size and you can specify where you want to read either standard input device keyboard or from file. GCC program 37.c dot slash a dot out. So enter a string, enter CRR college. Okay, CRR college is a output. So now we see puts function. Instead of printf, here I am using the puts function. So puts and you can give the variable name. So GCC program 38.c warning. We execute this program dot slash dot slash a dot out. CRR calls okay output error calls so now we see instead of puts you are going to use f puts so difference between puts and f puts so puts send the output on monitor coming to f puts you send the output to file also 39.c we get the warning no problem dot slash a dot out CRR college, it displays the CRR college as output. 